almost as famous as Hannibal himself, are the elephants he used in battle. These were the Carthaginians' terror weapon. Small numbers of elephants could have a massive effect. It's not hard to imagine why. The sight of charging elephants would strike fear into any right-thinking person facing them. Elephants are mainly terror weapons. They scare the living daylights out of the enemy, make them run away. They're big, they're grey, they make strange noises, they're smelly, they frighten people. There's something that no one's ever seen before, particularly for a Roman. You've never seen an animal that's that sort of size, and you certainly haven't seen one bearing down on you in great numbers. So all it has to do is turn up and come charging towards you, and you're already pretty scared. You cannot imagine how fast an elephant can be if, you, if he goes wild. Uh, the most people, they think an elephant is very slow and because he's so big. He's like 40, 45 kilometers per hour. He can move very, very fast. So I think it's a very effective weapon in the war. The elephants used by the Carthaginians were a smaller, now extinct breed of African elephant from the foothills of North Africa's Atlas Mountains. The deployment of the battle elephant wasn't particularly subtle. Immediately before the battle, the elephants were first plied with wine. I can imagine he, he used some alcohol because elephants, they like alcohol, like beer or wine or something like this. They will, they will drink it. And it's like, the effect is like f for people, some people are very shy. So uh, they drink some alcohol and they're the biggest fighter in the world. And this isn't with an elephant. You can turn uh, the, the character with alcohol. The elephants would then be prodded in their ankles. In their inebriated state, this would have made them as mad as hell. Then it was simply a matter of pointing them at the enemy and charging. And hanging on. The elephant is very big and very large and it's just going to trample its way through any formation. So they're very formidable. They can break up particularly dense bodies of troops. And cavalry, they're just frightened by terrifying the horses. Hardly a weapon of surgical precision, the idea was that they would batter the enemy, breaking their lines. When an elephant attacks people, he will use his whole body. So, first of all, they will roll the trunk in. They get down with the head and they attack with the trunk and hit very hard. If they have tusk and use the tusk, you will maybe already be dead by a, by a hit from a tusk. And the feet, they, they go on and, and smash everything under the feet. They go like tomato juice. However, there was a fundamental flaw to this weapon system. They were inherently unpredictable. The problem is that they're temperamental creatures. They really don't naturally do this sort of thing and they don't want to be in a noisy, colorful, swirling battle. By and large, if you have a five-ton fighting machine, it is better if it isn't temperamental, drunk, and knows who its enemies are. Since running a mock is something an elephant can also do very well. He don't know the difference between uh, Roman people and Carthaginians. They only learn to attack people. And it don't matter what, black, white, yellow, green, they go and attack everything.